Hey guys, we have an important update to our solo shuffle tier list predictions from Tuesday's patch. First up, on the melee side, we probably overvalued Arms Warrior and will be dropping them down to the A tier. The spec is in the green and most warriors on the ladder seem to be making gains, but they don't appear to be pulling ahead of the pack quite yet. So unless they become a true standout, they will be moving back to the A tier where they will join some of the other high tier specs. With that said, the best melee might be Assassination Rogue who will be moving up to the S tier. We knew their tier Z was going to be good, especially combined with the redesign to their talent tree, including the new AoE Shiv talent that that took the place of Kingsbane. When you combine both of these together, Asa seems really strong offensively. We were worried that this wouldn't matter too much since they are still a bit squishy, but it seems like their true insane damage output is able to carry once again. Our new solo shuffle tier list will look something like this. For now, we just swapped the position of Assassination Rogue and Arms Warrior. We're still confident in our decision to move Feral Druid down, and if there's any melee that continues to stand out on the A tier, it's Demon Hunter, who appear to be second best behind Asa Rogue. As a minor update, we also swapped Survival and Windwalker. Despite some previous nerfs, Windwalker still seems to do quite well in the bracket, and even though Survival can do some insane damage output, it continues to be far too squishy to be considered high tier for now. Moving on to healers, we definitely overvalued Holy Paladin, who we will be moving down to the A tier. Prior to the patch, they were actually becoming quite strong in the meta, once again thanks to melee wings. We knew its duration nerf would hurt, along with the nerf to judgment damage, but we assumed this would be offset by buffs to other parts of their healing toolkit. Unfortunately, it seems like the nerfs were disproportionately stronger than their buffs, so we will be placing them down a tier for now. We will also be moving Evoker back to the S tier. Even though Dream Projection is now dispellable, the change to Emerald Communion is better than we thought. Now that the spell has no counterplay, it has become one of the best defensive cooldowns in the entire game. When you combine this with the fact that Evoker has a pretty good tier set, we are fairly confident moving Evoker back up for now. This will be the new solo shuffle tier list for healers, with Holy Paladin and Preservation Evoker swapping places. Resto Druid appears to be the third best healer currently, but we don't think that they are as good as Disc or Evoker. We are also making a minor change by moving Mistweaver Monk back down to B, since it seems noticeably worse than our other A tiers after changes. As for ranged DPS, we are mostly happy with our tier list predictions so far, but we will be swapping Destro with Affliction on the A tier. Initially, we were worried that Destruction might still be too fragile to be ultra competitive in the bracket, but just like Assassination Rogue, this doesn't seem to matter as their damage buffs are more than enough to compensate. With that, we have our new range tier list for Solo Shuffle. Elemental Shaman continues to be the standout DPS, despite some nerfs to their burst. The only other DPS we have our eyes on are Balanced Druid and Devastation Evoker, who are two of the most volatile specs in the game when it comes to making accurate predictions. For now though, we are fairly confident in the rest of our tier list for the O5 patch. But anyways guys, that wraps up our update. Let us know are you enjoying the new patch so far. We will be continuing to monitor the meta, so stay on the lookout for more videos detailing any changes. Until then, thanks for watching, see you soon.